welcome to Perch Rock. Uh, so we attempted this location a couple of weeks ago. I think it might have been bank holiday weekend when it was really busy, we had glorious weather and stupidly decided to take a trip down. Um, but when we got here, it was rammed. So we drove on. Um, really wanted to photograph this lighthouse. So we've made another trip tonight. It's low tide and it's just coming up to five past nine. I think sunset is around 20 to 10 um, but hopefully you can pick that up on the screen we've got an amazing sky happening which is fantastic we've got all this lovely green moss with the seaweed growing on the rocks um, there's little water pools where you can get the re reflection of the lighthouse it's perfect the only thing is it's a little bit slippy um, and I have nearly gone over twice already so I've been a little bit um, careful and chosen a safe composition so that I'm not going to go on the backside or the camera's not going to go on the backside. Um, there's a few other ph photographers around um, but massively further enough away to be uh, safe and socially distanced. So we're going to um, just wait for, for the sun to set. It's going to come, come down and set in between the lighthouse and the wave breaker, I think, um, according to my little app. Um, last night we took a trip up to Cleveleys and as the sun went down, um, it was grey, it was flat. Um, we had some lovely rays, some lovely rays coming through uh, before sunset. But as the sun went down, there was literally nothing. So we packed up and got in the car. And as we were driving away, the sky exploded pink. It was absolutely gutted. But it just goes to show you that sometimes the conditions can seem a bit miserable, can seem a bit flat. But if you, if you hold it out and stick it out for a little bit, you might just get something. And I wish we'd have done that last night. I need to start taking some of my own advice um, and hang around for a little bit. But we've got a glorious, glorious evening tonight. And hopefully we'll get something decent. So as usual, I've tried a couple of different compositions. Um, I've taken a portrait and a landscape of this same spot. Um, as I say, you've got these nice curved rocks that lead into the lighthouse. And you've got, at the minute, I've got the reflection of the sky in the water. I do want the reflection of the lighthouse in the water. Um, so I will move further around to where I was when I first started, because I'm hoping anyway that the light might come on <laughs> whether it does or it doesn't I'm not sure but we'll see anyway um, but yeah I think it, it does make a nice little spot um, it's definitely somewhere that we'd come back to when the tides in a little bit more because I imagine as as the water's moving against these rocks it would be absolutely beautiful the waves crashing over the rocks and maybe getting some uh, long exposures I have done some long exposures uh, to try and get some movement in the clouds. I think at the minute there's probably not enough of a gap <laughs> in between the clouds to, to really pick up that detail as it's moving, but it's looking all right on the back of the camera so far anyway. Um, but we've still got about 15 minutes yet, so I might have a look just for some other compositions just to make sure that as the sun sets and the sky kicks off that we're in the right place. Here's what I like Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes Laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts with them we take a ride Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly Fly So the sun's coming down now and hopefully again you can pick this up on the camera but we've got some nice light um, that's happening on the green rocks. It's so lovely, it's so nice to be out. We spent a lot of time recently at sunset. Um, we spent a lot of time actually in Cleveleys. Um, we've had some fantastic, some fantastic sunsets. Um, I'm just going to keep clicking as, as I'm speaking to you. Um, but what I'll do is I will show you some of the images that we've taken over the last week at the end. Um, last night we had, as I say, the really flat light. Um, 
and because it was low tide there was no interest at all on the beach so it was quite difficult to try and find a composition um, as the tide was coming in the composition that I'd picked vanished <laughs> obviously because the <laughs> tide was coming in so we had to try and find some something else along the beach whether that be a curve uh, in the sand whether that be the, the way that the water was coming in um, with the reflection um, of the of the light on the water uh, so a little bit different tonight because we're actually spoilt for choice you could literally probably pick any composition around here and get a really nice image especially when the conditions are as lovely as what they are um, I'm hoping that as the sun dips a little bit more that this cloud is, is going to light um, we'll get some some beautiful colour reflecting in the water um, <laughs> it's funny really because I, w I watched one of our vlogs back and I think it was the one from Malin where I'm saying oh you know we'll get some nice golden light we'll get some colour in the sky hopefully the cloud will be here and that's the thing you want everything to just come together but when it does it's magic so I've just reviewed uh, the images in the back of the camera um, because I've moved around a little bit and at the minute um, I've got some little CDs that I've got my tripod perched on so that we don't sink into the sand because because it's been low tide obviously the sand's really wet you can set your tripod up nice and level and then obviously it starts sinking into the sand um, but as I've reviewed the images on the back of the camera I am actually just missing the top of the tripod uh, the top of the tripod head <laughs> the top of the lighthouse in this little puddle of water here so I'm going to raise the tripod up um, a bit more and hopefully um, get a better a better shot So I've totally neglected you <laughs> because it was absolutely beautiful um, and wanted to try and get some really nice shots um, and just got completely lost in the photography which should always come first really you've not got a vlog without an image so I've taken uh, a couple of shots around with the nice foregrounds and, and a little bit of reflection of the, uh, the lighthouse and I've come back to my original spot um, because the light's on <laughs> so probably the last few images of the day um, but it's been absolutely beautiful really really enjoyed it um, and definitely definitely really pleased that we came just before I go it's probably quite a short vlog uh, this one um, as I say I got completely consumed with taking the images um, but one thing that's been really nice tonight is that we met a really lovely guy called Steve McNally uh, I've been chatting away to him um, and so has Max um, you know and it's it's nice to meet other photographers I, th I think that's probably the first time that we've been out and and actually you know met met someone had a good chat to them obviously social distancing um 
but it's really nice really nice to sort of uh, connect with with somebody else that, that shares a similar passion um, geez the, the light has actually gone off at the lighthouse <laughs> that was only on for about half an hour uh, must be on a bit of a meter um, but yeah I think it's just been really nice and and a lovely to get out and, and do another vlog um, hopefully you've enjoyed it um, I think what I might do next time is talk to you a little bit more about what I'm doing with the camera what I'm doing with the settings um, maybe the grads and and the different sort of techniques that I use um, if anybody's interested in me doing that leave us a little comment um, if you're happy just watching our waffles and our ramblings <laughs> um, then give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time so we've had, we've a, had a lovely time, time at Perch, Perch Rock. We'll, we'll see you next time. Adios. 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 Again. Adios. Adios. <laughs> hang on. Let's just do it. Do one more. Okay. Adios. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on. I'm going to go. Say, see you next time. We've, uh, we've had a lovely time at Perch Rock. We'll Both see you next it. time. Oh, you say yeah. that. We've had a lovely time at Perch Rock. We'll see you next you time. You say it. No, we've both. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready?